You see it, chat. I see it. You see it. I see it. We all see it. We all see it. You know exactly. You know exactly what I see. You know exactly why I want this. Although the last two times it didn't work out quite right. But this time will be different. No mechs. Are you ready? That's fine. Wow, it's Dr. Scallywag. This actually trades better into Red Welt. And kills off all the tokens. And kills off a homunculus. It's better, isn't it? 2 3 is just better. You're clearly confused on the plan, Infinite, and that's okay. <laughs> that's that's okay. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I really, I really like Scallywag. I'm way into it. I think it's such a cool unit. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that's a good fighter. Oh yeah, this thing can fight. Yeah, that's a good fighter. I, the number of times I've probably said that on any given VOD or any like, oh yeah, this thing can fight. Scallywag fights early. It's like the first three turns, that's it. I'm so fixated on it, but it's only important for the first three turns. There's no more cannon. It doesn't do anything else. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm still stuck on back when you could get a cannon and then you could just make it fire off a bunch of times. But now Scallywag's just kind of like, yeah, it's there. Man, I'm always buying the steward. I'm always buying up murky. I think that cup might just be good enough to freeze for, but I gotta really hope that slots A, B, C, and D, slots C and D here fill in with something half decent. You know what I mean? But if I get any kind of like Sarlisk or anything half good, that cup's a 5-5. Five five. Wow, this was... Win or lose, 50-50, straight up. Where does the Sarlisk go? I've got some fresh Cup and Divine Shield, the Murloc. Five. <laughs> I ain't mad at this. I ain't mad at this at all. These are weird, because they're things you want to sell later, but... What do I most want to give... Probably not three gold. Probably Murkai or Steward? It's two dragons, so probably Murkai. Is there a secret code going on right now? 100% to win. Oh, no! Oh, there was a shot. There was a shot. That, that fight was way too hard to influence what did or did not get stolen. But there was a shot that that last Murloc hit the... Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this pack! <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, like, obviously I'm taking that triple and obviously I'm segueing it into a five drop, obviously. Lots of things are obvious. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have Tavern 4 looking for Bran. Thing is, I think this fight's better than the second one of these right now, right? So I think I actually prefer this. Okay there, uh, Bob and your stocks. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Kingdom of Amalur is in eight days. What is it? Tell me things I don't know. I want to know. The other thing I'm wondering about is uh, what's going on with that Wheel of Time series that was it Prime was doing it? All right, check this out. We're gonna we're gonna do the plays. I got I got the plays right here. These are the plays that you came for. You're about to see them. We buy up the token. We sell off both halves of the token. We hit the level button. We freeze. It's crazy. It's crazy. As silly and stupid as that whole thing was, uh, there is actually my hope that a Toxvin finds its way into one of the open slots. So that the, the whole plan was to open up one more slot in the tavern. Kind of shocked him at 37 health on turn six as Yorge. Everybody's favorite Jorge is coming in good.
Ooh, this is gonna be a big hit. Ouch. It's not bad if I can start finding poison givers. All right, we have a clear brand plan. We don't have a dragon plan. We have a clear brand plan. We're, we're looking for the brand. Oh, never brand. All right, we have to change the plan entirely. Could steal a gambler. That's like... These other ones don't do squat. An island's kind of cool, but whatever. Let's see what we steal. Ah! I saw a gambler. I wanted to swipe the gambler. This is a lot of buffs right now. And this is how a pirate plan gets started. I've never seen anyone as lucky as you are. <laughs> That'll teach you for bragging on it. <laughs> <laughs> Abandon the plan! Abandon the ship! Oh, I'm just gonna lose. I'm gonna lose so hard. What's up, Keys? It's good to see you. What is even happening? There's a lot of... There's a lot of juggling and... Unstable ghouling and <laughs> this has to go. Hogger, can I make a divine shield pirate? Well, now all of a sudden that an island's looking not half bad. I just roll. Uh, Battlemaster, take one more hit from Tavern 3, whatever you're... This is the only thing that starts to get me towards I have a carry. Like, this can be a carry. The rest of these pirates kind of suck. Eek. Keep up the it's early for someone to attack against George, but the ghoul seemed out of... Yeah, it did. Well, I mean, I guess when you consider the... Oh. When you consider the imp gang bosses and the juggler, it kind of makes some sense, I guess. Spawn more tokens, juggle more. But yeah, overall it did just seem out of place. It was weird. Alright, so all I need now is Bran and I make a... <laughs> I mean, I just went a second place into a first place. I had two really good back-to-back -back builds, but... This build is proving to be a bit more elusive. Look at that, I could triple up Hank. Nothing could ever go wrong there. There's my brand. Alright. We're Menagerie. It's time. So you're in... Oh, I should have sold you first. Well, you're out of here anyway. I guess I'm always selling this, and I'm always buying this. And I'm always taking the roll, so I might find something to buff on here. Glyph Guardian? Are you my dragon? You're not my... This is not my beautiful dragon! Yeah, this is out. Glyph Guardian is out. Murazond is out. Bran is in. An island is coming down. Jug is coming down. Salty Looter is a thing. Jug can go away. Make a really big an island. I mean, that's pretty good. There's a poison in there. Scoot you back. Will it be enough? A 981. No poisons on this board. Looks like it's enough. 
Yeah, I, I think I can finally do that, huh? I was not feeling all too confident about getting hero powers in before. But now there's a Toxfin that I just saved, right? Well, <laughs> successfully dodged lethal. <laughs> it was if anything else lived. If an island lived and anything else, because an island was always living. Alright, so we want this. And I want this. I want to roll. No buffs here that I like. I'm probably getting out of the salty looter pair. There we go. All right. Uh, I guess Crystal Weaver can go for right now. Salty looter pair. Actually, Crystal Weaver's stronger. Another Annihilin too. This is a cool pack. I don't think I'm looking to triple this right now. I think that's not that's not the play. All right. So we put this down first. Maybe it's better to poison and divine shield the poison right now. I don't think I'm looking to triple Felfin, but it might be another poison target. Fine. Keep up the momentum, friend. One poison, and it's really important that it hits my poison like that. Good, good, good. All right, that one poison was the most terrifying thing on my opponent's board. Now it's like guaranteed lethal. I mean, I'm about to make a really big battle master, right? That's the plan, that's the play. <laughs> We're gonna have, and possibly a second poisonous murloc, you know, poison divine shield. Cause I might triple up this felpin here. But I want to buy the Felfin first. I want to sell the Toxfin. I want to play the Felfin. Then I want to triple the Murkai. Exactly it would have been cool if Bran on your board insulted killing a boss. <laughs> Well, Imp Mama absorbs juggles, which I'm pretty sure our Yogg friend had, right? Four demons seems like a juggle to me. Maybe there's big wrath weavers, but I don't have any I don't have anything else really to do here. I like a second big annihilin. That also absorbs juggles like crazy. So what I'm probably doing here is getting out of the Felfin pair and just putting a shield up on my bigger battle master. We'll have a Miniature Battlemaster and an Imp Mama to boot. Teeny tiny little 375. Do I lead with the poison? Make sure the shield doesn't get juggled off. I probably should put the second shield up there too. The shields are kind of whatever, I guess, if I think it's a juggle comp. Oh, it's definitely juggles, but... Oh, that was... That was a... Uh... Pretty good predicting. Take Imp Mama against Juggler. I should have had the... So the Murloc went first. That was good. I should have probably had the Battle Master second, right? Just to get one more shield value. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing a second Poison Murloc in my head. not. Light Fang? That's not enough buffs. I could look for Battlemaster a little bit more. Oh, that's cool. I only got two tribes to buff on if I get out of that, but this this becomes my, my poison target, which is so much better. That's fine. You served me well, Salty Looter. Okay, Parafelfins, cool. No. Need a drink. Uh, 
I didn't really check my opponent. Oh, his demon. Yeah, that big battle master's doing work here. What uh what is Mr. Kitty? Beasts. Nine attack with a lot of health is not necessarily gonna be enough to take down a beast. I think Imp Mama is the next cell slot. It's probably doing the least of the rest. But maybe I can triple that Felfin first. Oh look, there was my triple battle master. Why didn't it triple? <laughs> it worked like that. Actually triples in the fight. Why would you reborn the... Wouldn't you want to reborn one of the demons? I mean, I guess there was not a lot of space, but... Alright, I like this. Why the juggler? Let's keep going. Love to triple the Felfin. And then I wouldn't have to feel like I should sell Imp Mama. Alright, I'd love to find some sort of good buffs, you know? That's a triple. <laughs> Alright, that counts as a good buff. You're out of here. Cold Light Seer's cool. Toxfin, baby. That's what I was looking for. Seems weird to Divine Shield up that Battle Master, but that's where we're at. All right, I need you to kill the cleave. Oh. All right, you kill cleave. My positioning is out of whack. Yes, Mama Bear down. We're good, I think. That's a good question. I don't know if you would ever actually have space for the Reborn Void Lord. Honestly, I, I think it's a trap now based on that being juggles to make, is it a trap though? One really big battle master to just clean up. Nah, maybe it's not a trap. Maybe it's not. Maybe Lich King had a turn earlier in the game with a freeze on that and went, no, that doesn't work. And I'm just over here making bald-faced accusations of that being a bad play, but it was really the right play. I just need more Toxfins. I want to get another Divine Shield Poison. I think I'm just going to roll through and keep that uncombined. All right, you're back in there for right now. Ah, see, that's how you get a beast transition. You just steal it from your opponent. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Nethrazim is nice. Another satisfied customer. Look, is it the most important thing? No. Is it nice? Yeah. Just put down a Goldrin or a Mama Bear. Put it last so that hopefully maximum damage. Show me something good. Nothing? Divine Shield the Goldrin. In an effort to keep six more damage on the board. Alright. Smaller poison needs to lead. Boom, 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 boom. My shields kind of don't matter so much, but... Oh, that's, that's very true. 1082 Twins is very important. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. That Void Lord would not have had space to respawn. I guess it's good too against like Zap shenanigans, but this opponent already knew I didn't have any of that. Question is, is there 60 plus damage in that juggler right now? I don't think there is. Ah, 
Ah, they almost... They almost finished the game as twins. They did their best. See, I I think George is in a Murloc lobby pretty snap pickable. <laughs> 